Segment 11A, LXI, First Cut Job. Now it's time to open the software and choose the Muse as your default vinyl cutter. Double click on the Production Manager icon to open the application. This will launch LXI 19. Now again, Production Manager is only used to control your devices. It is not used for creating artwork or graphics. Normally you would start in the LXI Master Plus window, but we're setting up our device, so we're going to do that in Production Manager. Since we have no device installed, it's prompting us to choose a device and under what is the brand name of your vinyl cutter, we'll click the arrow and scroll down to find Muse. Under the Muse options, you should select the M15, M24, or M60 according, of course, to your purchase. We're going to choose M15 and click Next. Just below the device field, you should see the question, how is your M15 connected to your computer? Just below this, there is another drop-down menu. Click this to see the available connection options. In this case, we're going to choose USB underscore printer underscore one. We always want to use the USB underscore printer nomenclature when working with the Muse vinyl cutter. In this case, I already have a USB printer connected on my PC, so I'm going to use USB printer 1. If you have several, click the one with the highest number. This will be the Muse connection. Click Finish. And now you will see Production Manager with the new Muse vinyl cutter set up as a device with the port setting defined. M15 at USB printer underscore one. To test the connection and make sure you've chosen the right port, right click the M15 icon just below here and you will see a pop-up menu. From here at the bottom of the menu, select test cut. The test cut function sends a pattern to the vinyl cutter. It's a bit more complex pattern than the square from the test cut function on the cutter itself. You should get a bomb sight with inside a square. If the Muse responds and cuts the test pattern, you are all set and ready to use your new Muse vinyl cutter with LXI software. First cut job from LXI design. Now, to create and send your first cut job from the LXI design interface, return to your desktop and double click the other LXI icon. This may be labeled LXI Apprentice, Expert, Master, Master Plus, or LXI Rip Design, depending on your purchase. LXI 19 will launch, and you'll see the design screen, complete with Design Central, and the default toolbars. We highly recommend that you set aside some time to visit the Sign Warehouse support blog and find the LXI video tutorials. These will allow you to work through the extensive design tools at your own pace. For now, just click the text tool. This is the second icon at the top left of your toolbar. Then click in an open area of your workspace and type the word test or muse or whatever you'd like to send as your first cut job. Click the Select tool. While the text is highlighted in the brackets, look at the second tool menu from the top of the screen and find the Cut Plot icon. This will open the Cut Plot window. Here there are myriad tools you can use to manage your cut files. For now, just verify that the default cutter in the top of the window is the newly installed Muse driver. You will see the text in the lower right hand screen in the preview window. Before we send our job, there's one important tool you might want to turn off. There are four tabs near the top of the cut plot screen. The third one from the left has a blade icon. This is the options tab. Click the options tab to open the options window. The third window from the top is the driver options window. 
Look at the settings in this window. If you see the term cut fast here, that means the LXI is set to override the speed and force settings you've already programmed into your Muse Vinyl Cutter. This may not give you the best cutting quality. The default setting in LXI 19 should be none. If it is not, click the edit button. And here you have a menu of cut fast, cut medium, or slow. These are ways you can override the settings on the vinyl cutter, but generally speaking, we don't recommend it. One other thing you might want to change at the outset is the job control settings in Production Manager. You can go to Production Manager by clicking at the bottom of your screen and opening the Production Manager window. Here, you can right click on the cutter icon and select default job properties. It is very important to look at the workflow tab and change this. The default setting is after output delete. This means that everything you send to your vinyl cutter will be immediately deleted from the queue in LXI. This may not be desirable. You can come down here using the arrow key and change this to hold and click apply. Once this is done, anything you send to your vinyl cutter will be stored in the queue for later use. Now click on the preview tab to return to the general settings window. Make sure that the send mode is selected to send to now and click send. Production manager will send the job to your muse. Congratulations, you've just sent your first vinyl cut job to your new Muse Vinyl Cutter.